what's good guys welcome back to ron's rise welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where this probably is one of the gaudiest most overdone ferraris i've seen uh but we're gonna talk about it because this is the ferrari bread van and it returns in a modern and fully electric version but uh i'm gonna have to pass on this one right away now more and more car manufacturers are making transitions into full electrification, right? But only a few brands like Ferrari are undergoing a lot of pressure given the quiet nature of electric motors that clash with the roar of the prancing horse supercars. Well, Antonio Bruno, automotive and industrial designer, has posted some renderings on Instagram to show us a modern version of the historic Ferrari 250 GT Drogo. Now, it also is known as the Ferrari bread van. It's a grand touring coupe made for competitions by Pareto Drogo Sports Cars, and that's bodywork using the chassis of the 250 GTO short wheelbase. Now, the adoption of the name bread van is due to its rear, which resembles that of a small van. Now, the front is a digital project that's gonna remind you of the SF90 Stradale and the one-off SP38 based on the 488 GTB. Now, the lower area, the sides, and the rear, on the other hand, are dominated by large aerodynamic elements. And note that the side skirts that have been designed to better manipulate the airflow are somewhat reminiscent of those developed by Lamborghini for its models. Now, as for the rear, this modern Ferrari bread van offers a rather minimalistic approach, but the car is conceived to be fully electric as it's equipped with four electric motors, one for each wheel. And it does not differ much from what is currently happening in the real world. Now, indeed, Ferrari finds itself in a time when it's pushing towards electrification, and this is evidenced by the latest SF90 Stradale equipped with a 4-liter twin-turbo V8 combined with three electric motors, or the LaFerrari with an energy recovery system. But furthermore, the Porta Sangue SUV scheduled for 2022 should also be marketed in a hybrid version. And Ferrari will certainly bring a fully electric Ferrari to the market, but... For this, we will have to wait and see in a few more years. But what do you guys think about this Ferrari bread van? I've already given you my thoughts right at the beginning of the video. I need yours down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving it a thumbs up will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it. And we can have a bigger discussion on this Ferrari bread van rendering that is completely gaudy. But with that, if you guys want to help further support the channel, check the links down below where I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. Just in case you guys want to donate a couple of dollars to the Ron's Rise channel, you can also check out the Patreon subscription as well. Be a monthly subscriber or check out the Ron's Rise merch. We get t-shirts, hoodies, long sleeve shirts, stickers, everything Ron's Rise. Check that out as well. Also follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram to see everything I'm posting. Ferrari, Maserati, and Alfa Romeo that doesn't always make it here to the channel. Now with that said, make sure you subscribe, but click that notification bell so you can get these videos straight to your inbox and you won't miss one. With that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. And we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.